Okay, right, year five. Today we are continuing with our learning objective from yesterday, reading and interpreting information from timetables. But today we're getting a little bit harder because we are now working with the 24 hour digital time. And also you'll notice that your timetable has got some gaps in it. <gasps> but don't worry. Okay, I'm going to show you what to do and then hopefully you'll be okay. So, this is a train timetable and up here we've got the word destination and that means um, the station or the place. So you can see here that the train starts in Derby and it travels to York and then it ends up in Newcastle and that is the end of the train journey. We've got this word duration at the bottom. Hopefully you remember what duration means. It means how long something takes. And then up here we've got journey A, journey B and journey C. So there are three different options depending on what time suits you, how quickly you want to get there. Okay, so it's the same train journey but there's three options. So, the first thing I'm going to do is to work out the duration of journey A. So, think back to yesterday, if we're working out the duration of something, what can we use to help us? A timeline. So, here's my timeline. So, I can see from my timetable that it leaves Derby train station at 10.20. Now think about whether that's in the morning or the evening. We're working with 24 hour digital time. Okay, it's below 12, so that means it's in the morning. So at 10.20. We don't need to worry about York because the train is going from Derby through York and then it ends in Newcastle. So we need the beginning time and the end time. So at the end of my timeline, I'm going to put 14.25, which is 2.25 in the afternoon. Then we've got to work out the difference. So I can see that I've got 20 here and 25. So I'm going to add in hours. I'm going to add one hour. That gets me to 11.20. Um, but I'm going to add three more hours. And that takes me to, ooh, 2.20. Ooh, I'm not going to write 2.20 because we're in 24 hour time. So it would be 14.20. And then there's just a little interval of time here from 2.20 to 2.25, which is five minutes. So the duration of this train time is one hour add three hours, it's four hours and five minutes, I can't write like this, four hours and five minutes. So perhaps you can pause the video now and work out the duration of journey B and journey C. Remember you only need the start time and the end time, you've got those, and then see if you can work out the duration. Have a go. Pause it now. Okay, so journey B starts at 11.30, arrives in Newcastle at 3.35 in the afternoon. This time, instead of counting in just one hour at a time, I'm going to do whoa, a big chunk because I know that from 11.30 until 3.30 in the afternoon, I know that is a four hour time interval. And then, whoop, I've got them a little bit here, half past three to 3.35, it's five minutes. So the duration for journey B, oh, it's the same as journey A. Four hours and five minutes, okay? Let's have a look at journey C. So journey C's start time is 12.05. And then it arrives in Newcastle 
at half past six in the evening. I'm going to do my little cheat again, my time hack, if you like. And land at 18.05. So think about how many hours this represents. That's six. Dear, six hours. And then we've got 18.05 to 18.30. That's 25 minutes. So journey C, oh, it's definitely the slow train. Six hours and 25 minutes. Okay, I know which train I'd rather get. So depending on which challenge you pick, you're going to have different types of questions. Some questions will ask you to work out the duration of the different um, train journeys. And some questions might ask you to fill in some of the missing information on the train timetable. So this is an example one. So it takes two hours and 25 minutes to get to York on journey B. What time does the train arrive? So we're looking at journey B, here we go and it's talking about the train to York ah, and we can see here there is a gap in the timetable so it takes two hours 25 minutes to get to York so it starts in Derby it takes two hours 25 minutes to get to York what time does the train arrive so again I'm going to draw a timeline so I know it leaves Derby at 11.30. I'm going to add on two hours first. Add two hours. That takes me to 1.30 in the afternoon. Oh, it's 24 hour time, so that's 13.30. And then I've got to add 25 minutes. That takes me to 13, ooh, 30 at 25, 55. There we go, 13.55. And I reckon the next question would probably be, how long does it take to get from York to Newcastle on journey B? And you'd be able to do that now, okay? So, have a go at the learning for today. Choose your challenge and remember timelines do really help, so don't be afraid to draw them. Okay, they're not babyish, they're really, really useful. Okay, right, good luck everyone.